Brick free, DC Noah. Brick was in a pensive mood. Alison Hell had done a news report in the Dark Off of News, writing about Tomar II's nemesis, Romat Roo, who was currently abducting young rainbow beasts and shooting them and cutting them up. He was back to his old tricks. The irony to Brick in this animistic realm was that the rainbow beasts that were killed wandered back into the community a few days later and, from Allison's interviews with the victims, recounted their fears and pain they had gone through. But the resurgence back to life as they were animistic spirit and a mentality in them of just go home as a primary impetus when they were in the darkness. That was a common thing with the animist spirits when they experienced death. Just go home. That was interesting to Brick. Yet, regardless of the fact that they were alive again, Romat Rue's actions were not tolerable to Brick the Green Lantern. He must be stopped. She had risen up to the heights of Dark Gotham City and commanded the ring to locate Romat Rue. But it had informed her that things worked differently here. There was a mindset from the community, and the energy of life involved in the dark side did not confess such details so easily. She would have to track him down the old fashioned way detective work. He drags his victims down to dark Gotham sores, said Alice in Hell. He kills them there. Rumor has it he eats them afterwards. Cannibalism, said Brick. Well, I suppose, replied Allison. The rainbow beasts are intelligent enough creatures that can speak, but in some ways they are beasts also. Animals. Animals are killed all the time here. I mean, they are everywhere. It doesn't make it right, replied Brick. At a certain level of sentience, every species gains further rights of protection. I'm a Green Lantern. I've seen justification for abuse against all sorts of races. I observe these rainbow beasts. They deserve protection. They are my thoughts too, replied Allison. Good luck. She continued on to viewing a number of rainbow beast victims, and she got an idea of where Romat Rue usually frequented. She found a disused lot in the city where Romat Rue had abducted a number of victims. Ring, locate suspicious activity, commanded Brick. Some information is coming through, replied the Ring. The anime here is focused on a great deal on private affairs. Brick started patrolling the streets. She'd spy rainbow beasts wandering around regularly and made note of them. Finally, one afternoon, she came across a group of young rainbow beasts which were crying. What's the matter? asked the concerned Brick. Letter is gone, they replied. A mean man. Romat Rue, said Brick. Ring, locate his trail. There is a scent from this group on that knowledge, and at the moment the child the letter has concern on her life. Progress east, replied the ring. Brick walked long east, going through the city. A sewer opening, said the ring. Light, said Brick. A green light came from the ring as she entered the saw. It was smelly and vile things were on the ground. She trod carefully and after a while heard muffled yells. She came into a big room and Romat Rue had a dagger in his hand with a young little electric tied up and he was mocking her. As Brick approached, he looked up. Damn, Green Lantern. You should learn nobody cares here. These creatures... Don't matter, said Romat Rue. Let her go, declared Brick. Romat Rue reached down and picked up a rifle. He shot at Brick, but green energy emerged from ring and blocked the bullets. Back to your old tricks, said Brick. Some people never change. What you gonna do? Kill me again? mocked Romat Rue. Ring. Cover Romat Rue with sewerage. The ring shot forward and scooped up Romat Rue, placed him in the sores and dug up sewerage 
covering it all over with serial killer. Rick untied Delectra's knots. Go, she said, and keep your eye out for this clown more closely in the future. Delectra nodded and ran off. I might not be able to kill you, Romaru, but I can certainly teach you a lesson. So, for the next few hours, Brick dunked Ramat Ru in fresh sewage time and time again. Finally, satisfied, she relented and let him go. Every time you kill, I'll track you down, said Brick, and I have a great imagination on punishments. Wonderful, replied Ramat Ru sarcastically, who's not exactly impressed. <laughs>